It is a tough time in the creative industry. Lots of companies are laying off while fewer companies are hiring UI designers. You have to ask yourself the question in the midst of this tough climate, are you up to snuff? Will you make the cut and actually get one of those coveted positions? In this episode, which is part two of a series called Hireable or Not Hireable, we're gonna be taking a look at real designers work from their actual portfolios and figuring out if we, like them, are hireable. Before we jump in, a quick reminder that we're not here to throw shade or hate on any of these designers that we're about to talk about. This is for educational purposes so we can do some self-assessment and figure out whether or not our work is hireable or not hireable. And so we're gonna jump right in here, starting with our not hireable category. We're gonna zoom in on our dashboard, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on today, a lot of dashboard interfaces, starting with this dark themed version that we have here. And this type of work, I'll just say it flat out, is not hireable. Why is it not hireable? There's just a lot of immature design decisions and inconsistencies more than anything in this design. We have spacing here where we have our calendar element, it looks like, sitting in between these. And and then all of a sudden this one is shoved way up at the top. These is shoved way down from the bottom. We have a lot of extra space here. There's just so many inconsistencies there. Also, I have a sidebar navigation that has no labels on them. I don't know what they stand for. At a glance, the iconography is also hard to kind of pick out because they chose these two-tone on a dark background. Here's what I'll say about dark themed UI design. If you don't know how to do it well, stick with light themed or and kind of build on that, evolve off of that. Dark theme is very difficult, and this is what I would say is a little bit of a fail when it comes to dark theme. We have spacing and alignment issues. We have this kind of alignment issue where our card has some sort of spacing inside of it, but we're not honoring that, so we just have these big empty gaps over here. And I don't know what they're trying to accomplish by these stacks, but it just looks like way too much drop shadow. And the whole thing just feels a little bit like a garage sale. It doesn't quite feel like the mature dashboard usable experience that you're hoping for. Let's take a look at another not hireable UI design. This one is a light mode version using color kind of interesting, but we still have that issue where our sidebar navigation has no labels. So it's not super usable. Accessibility is a, super, a big issue here. Also, as I move down the navigation, it feels like I get to the end, but then I have this kind of swoopy thing. So then now I have the logout down here and we have a swoopy thing over here. The, all of this swoopy stuff and the kind of like addition of gauges and dials tells me that this UI designer is not planning on actually pushing this into production because it's not gonna be used well or received well. They're probably a little bit more interested in designing something for Dribbble or Behance. And again, nobody wants to hire your Behance or your Dribbble portfolio. They wanna hire people who can actually bring value to a product, actually ship products and help them evolve and grow that product to bring in more revenue, not grow your dribble following. We have another example of this where this is actually a static version. Uh, the live version, every single one of these illustrations was animated, everything was moving, and it was just an absolute attention nightmare. We have the same issue here, but even worse on the left-hand side. I think maybe this is supposed to be an Evite redesign, but we have some sort of element here that says home. I don't know if this is notifications, if this is supposed to be your active state, but also we just have the word home and we don't follow that same pattern for the rest of your navigation. The whole thing just feels like confused, really. And also we have this large, large search bar. Um, we have kind of this weirdly balanced navigation up top, but we're searching. I don't really see any examples, and there was no examples in the rest of the screens on what kind of content we're actually searching for. And so this whole thing feels like they did a user interface challenge in five or 10 minutes, and then tried to pass it off as some sort of case study. They didn't take the time, and so therefore I'm gonna call that one and the rest of them not hireable. Let's take a look at some almost hireable designs here. We have what kind of for a moment looked like a redesign of Dropbox, but has more to do with income statements and P&L statements, so a financial dashboard of some kind. Definitely improvement here. We have clear labeling on the side, although we have some inconsistency on how the icon is sitting inside of the active state. We actually have kind of some 
Not very aesthetic or nice looking hard lines on the top and bottom here, but at least this navigation is way more usable. We have pretty clear structure here and nice alignment, but altogether the color palette that's used here is a little bit off. And sometimes when we're working with a brand that has a specific color palette, we want to build sort of native or web applications or native software. We don't have to fully implement and use those brand colors. We can stick with a much more neutralized palette it instead of trying to force color and style in where color and style doesn't need to be. Let's take a look at another example of almost hireable. Somebody who's trying to do something a little bit more fun and creative, but understands that we do need to neutralize the information a little bit more to make it highly usable. So we have some really interesting kind of almost like a Twitter banner or LinkedIn banner, like a cover image like you would find in Notion, but we have like a really clean and simple sidebar and we have a lot of really clean and simple user interface information over here clear titles labels for things the information actually does the talking and they're using color a little bit more sparingly I think they probably could have continued that over here instead of doing full color cards we could have just done something interesting with the avatar for whatever that vendor is but a much better implementation where this starts to be almost hireable is that we're getting almost a little too playful. We have an exceptional amount of padding on the left and right hand side of the sidebar. Some might say that that is opinion. I say that that is an excess use or waste of real estate. Real estate is very, very important and it makes me think if I'm building a product, is this person gonna honor the fact that every pixel counts? And the more information I shove in here, we have this big bubbly kind of spaced out style. Do they realize that we need to ship this thing into production and actually have people use it? I'm not sure. So they're almost hireable. Let's look at the best of the almost hireable category. And this definitely teeters on hireable, but we do have, again, a little bit of an issue with that navigation sidebar. There isn't a use case where it can be okay, especially if we're taking something like a dashboard or some sort of web application and starting to get responsive in that navigation, we might wanna see it collapse and have more of a responsive state. So I'm willing to accept it. Why? Because the rest of the design is actually really, really beautiful. Now, you might say that it's almost hireable because they have a bit of an excessive use of imagery here, but I actually don't mind that. So if I could, I would actually rip this out of the almost hireable and put it in between hireable and almost. I think it fits there. We have really beautiful user interface elements, clear patterns that everyone knows, loves, and understands. My search bar here is very, very clear, much better than that search bar that was taking up too much space in that Eventbrite redesign we saw earlier. We have tool tips for information and help. User affordances are here. We have nice clear structure and we're just breaking grids a little bit to be playful. I think that the, that's okay. And I think that even the use of color here is okay because so much of this has been neutralized and we have a brand color that has multiple different stops on the color scale that's being used. The whole thing feels much more mature. And so even though we've put this in the almost hireable, I'm actually just going to say that it's pretty hireable. It's pretty good looking work. Let's go to the completely hireable looking work. I'm going to zoom in and talk immediately about color. If you want to be playful when it comes to color, there is a time and a place to be playful. We can do that in specific little moments, right? For instance, the color of our avatars, like I said earlier, they're standing out. I can actually read them. I know exactly what they, those are and they're highly identifiable. That's a great use case of neutralizing the rest of the UI card and letting the avatars and the other elements kind of do the talking. If we're promoting something new, I can see I have some sort of extension installation down here. We want to get the user there, but we also have some fun color up here in the text or in the in our total revenue number. That's fantastic. We have playful use of color here, here. And so it's just a very mature, simple interface. We're also on a UX side of things good navigation here. I have a sidebar navigation. We would call that global navigation, but I'm also starting to get into some local navigation, right? Where I can click around inside of campaigns. Now I'm working inside of analytics. You would imagine if I went a step deeper, we would find even more of that 
kind of breadcrumb trail kind of leading us back home. And we have more navigation and interactable elements over here on the side, as well as a really nice, simple search feature over there on the top right. So again, just really mature and not every interface has to be light. This is an example of a really beautiful dark interface. Again, breaking my own rule of saying that these need to have some sort of label. Again, not always do they have to have a label. If the iconography can be very, very clear and we create really real consistency around our icons. Same size for the icons, same size for the container they're sitting in, very clear active state, very clear notification state, beautiful. Our color that we have here for call to action is only used in a couple of sparse little moments. Clear call to action here, call to action towards the graph, and really it's letting the color of the graphs themselves do the talking, and we're kind of reusing that call to action color for a little bit of a marketing moment, to either upsell the user or add them some sort of benefit. But again, crisp, clean, alignment, the proximity of things, the typographic rhythm, and all of that is just locked on and looking really beautiful and mature. And in our final example of hireable UI design, we have a really modern, and I would say very, very unique and playful. And this is why I love this design so much. It is unique. It doesn't look like it was just pulled out of a UI kit. There's something very customized about this UI design, about this dashboard interface we're looking at. The graphs are very, very interesting. We are making a little bit of a moment for some imagery. So imagery is there, but it's not overdone. And we have a really cool style that's been introduced and that style is being implemented pretty much at scale, right? So we have kind of this style of these boxes and kind of like crisp corners inside of our nice rounded cards. You can see here we're also using a little bit of this dot pattern in multiple places. So it brings some consistency about, and really we're creating a kind of fun experimental bento interface. And even though it's experimental, it doesn't look like every dashboard interface I've ever seen. It's still very, very interesting. And it's still very structured. It's very functional. It seems to me like it could actually work. So this is very hireable because you're pushing the limits and doing stuff that maybe my company or the company that's hiring has never done, but we would like to do, and maybe you can lead us there. That tells me that this type of design work is very, very desirable and very hireable. Well, that's it for the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with any of these designs as I categorize them into one of these three categories? I would love to hear your thoughts and start a conversation down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Leave a thumbs up and ring the bell so you know when another video in this series comes out. If you wanna learn more about how to get hired as a designer in the current climate and you wanna uplevel your skills, definitely go and check out designchamps.io where you can find courses, community, training, live sessions, and a whole bunch more. Join me over there. The link is down in the description. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and we'll see you in the next one.